Feldman joins us live with an in-depth look at the UT alert system. And Reagan, how well did it work today? Well, Robert, the university is saying that pretty much everything went as planned, and UT students we spoke with are saying the same thing. Now, during the shooting and the subsequent search for a possible second shooter, the UT campus was virtually empty. I walked around campus following the SWAT teams as they searched building to building, and I think I saw no more than about 20 students the entire time. The reason? The majority of the UT community was either away from campus or they were sheltering in place. Now, sheltering in place is what UT does when they have to lock down on the campus. Everyone is required to stop what they're doing and stay in the room or building where they are. During that time, UT communicates via email, an emergency website, a very loud siren and public announcement system, and they switch all the TVs on campus to an emergency channel. Students we spoke with say they've trained for sheltering in place and everything worked the way it was supposed to. There was never really any confusion. Everyone was very calm. They had a very, you know, systematic procedure. Um, I felt probably the safest I could have felt on campus in the gym today. Now, most students we spoke with said they first heard about the shooting via a text message from the university. According to UT, they sent that text message to about 43,000 students, faculty, and staff at about 8.25 this morning. Reporting live from the UT campus, Reagan Hackleman, KXA and Austin News.